Erica Beers loves her serene setting, even if serenity is hard to find. Okay, let's do it. She has one career, three kids, two in school, and zero reliable internet. Which is problematic for me, especially because I work for a company that hosts live conferences. Uh, and it's problematic for my kids because they can't attend school online. Eric and her husband tried to pay to hardwire their home for better connectivity. The first quote was 10 grand. Before they could say yes, they came back with a price of $68,000. Let's work together, okay? So for Erica and countless other parents trying to teach their children well, is it too loud? No. It's a juggle and a struggle. I pay someone to come here every day and help my kids with their schoolwork, and I go to my best friend's house and sit outside on their porch in every kind of weather, and I work there. Now, some will say that this issue is simply about getting Netflix into every home, and I say to you, nothing could be further from the truth. State Senator Kristen Phillips-Hill is trying to merge all Pennsylvanians onto the information superhighway. She estimates millions are unserved or underserved, and not just rural residents. There are still students in the city of Philadelphia who is now all virtually being educated, who can't get on the internet. And she can't fix it, Phillips Hill was once told by a colleague. When I first embarked on trying to find a solution to this issue, he told me it was a fool's errand, you'll never get anything done. But four hearings across the state, a special commission, and this 220-page report later, solutions are in sight. One bill steers tax credits to incentivize companies to hook up ignored customers. Another would eliminate regulations like maintaining landline telephones. Hello. The dodo birds of 2020. They are still required by state law to provide that service all across the Commonwealth and invest in that infrastructure at great expense to them, which means that money is not being invested into the services that people not only want, but they also need. Where there's electric poles and wires, there could easily be internet. But it's not so easy. If a rural electric cooperative wants to run a line of broadband, they have to go back and renegotiate all of their right-of-way agreements. So another bill would cut that red tape. The problem hits rural and urban, Democrat and Republican alike. That should help Phillips Hill push the legislation. But Erica has kids to educate now, and she's heard political promises in the past. The legislation is too slow to have any meaningful impact for us. 